Hello everyone and welcome to the Tutu Workshop. So if you've decided to participate, uh, this should be a very fun workshop. So let's see what is in our kits. So in your package, you should have received some elastic, as you can see here, and this is going to be for the tummy. Also uh, a needle and thread and your tool. This is what's going to make it all nice and fluffy on the sides. Now, in my specific package, I have three different colors and I want them separated because I want to be able to know exactly where I want to place them. In addition, I have uh, created this little roll here out of towels and put two elastic bands in order for me to put it in between my legs and, th and I'm going to be wrapping the um, the elastic around it and then it allows me to turn it around as I am progressing and moving along with my skirt. So I've taken the liberty to make a tutu skirt ahead of time in order to show you. So this one here would fit about a three-year-old and let's see it goes from the end of my pinky to my thumb. See. Yeah exactly. And this one here is not very stretchy, not a lot, but this one is, as you can see here, this one really uh, gives a lot of stretch. So number one thing that we have to do is sew the, the ends here, and that is going to be the waistband. So let's get that started. I already have mine threaded. And for some reason, oops, I can leave them out. And when I look at these colors, I just think pretty and pink. That's what I'm going to call this skirt. Pretty and pink. All pink. So, what we're going to do is put the sides that we want to show. We're going to have that sides touching. And so, inside, we're going to have that showing right now and then we're going to flip it over and then it's going to be just right so here we go with sewing just the little ends here I like to do it two times because the holes are a little large so I want to make sure that it stays intact so now I'm going to be going back not doing the stitching too tight because we don't want it to uh, all bunch up on one side all done now I'm going to make a little knot so it doesn't get undone and there you have it. All right, so we've done our stitching here all on one side. I've done it once, now twice. I knotted it up and for this project you're going to need to have your scissors handy. So I'm going to put my needle over here so it's safe and I can save it for another project. So now we have our band. Yay! And I'm just going to cut that little bit of the sides there just to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so when I look at my tool here, I think pretty and pink. So um, I have this blue color that I just don't want to have. I don't want to see that. So what I am going to do as I start building my uh, skirt, I'm going to fold it up just a little bit. So then you can't see it. You may choose to have yours showing if you have 
uh, colors, a multicolor like this. Um, or you could decide to fold it up just like I am. And I'm just choosing to uh, fold up one of the colors. I do want the green to show, but not the blue. So now this is when the towel comes in very handy. I've rolled it up one towel, but then it wasn't enough. And so I added a second towel, rolled it up again, and I put uh, an elastic band at the top and bottom. And so now I'm gonna put that in between my legs. And now I'm gonna put my elastic around it. And now I can work with that really, really nicely. So using my sample, I, in order to put in the tool strips, I decided to go in through the bottom hole, going in and leaving one bare, going in, leaving the other bare, in, bare, in, bare. So this here uh, was roughly 25 uh, tool strips. Now you may want it to be a lot fuller and you may want to use the one at the top. So one at the bottom, and then we could go at the top and build another one. If you have two different colors, you can decide where you wanna place them. Do you want them in sections or do you want them alternating constantly? It is up to you, you, you decide. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to organize my tool and I want them uh, spread out. That's what I want. But I am going to start first with the bottom row. So here I am with my towel. I'm going to have that here in front of me. And you are more than welcome to use anything that's round that's not too big. You're going to be able, need to be, have some give to the elastic. Also, some people use a coffee can. You may use a teddy bear that is nice and full, um, or even a little pillow possibly. It's up to you. Okay, so we have choices in regards to the tool. Do you want it uh, all kind of one length, or do you want different lengths at the bottom? That's up to you. If you want a different length, you can have one that is long and the other one about halfway maybe yeah something like that I think for me for the bottom row I'm just going to have it the same length so here I go I'm going to start now I'm going to oops I want the bottom this to be my bottom here so I want to be able to fold this one so like that you won't see it and I'm going in so I need to give it a little twisty so it can go in through the hole so let's put it in here now this is going to take a little bit of time going to have to find where there we go and my suggestion is that you don't do it too tight because if you make a little mistake you want to be able to be able to pull it out nicely and not be fidgeting fidgeting with it too long okay so yeah i just want it nice and a little loose so already our first strip and i'm liking what this is looking and like I said, I call, when I look at the colors here, I think pretty and pink. So that is why I don't want the blue to show. So here we go. I have my other tool. So I bend it in half as well. Create a little pinch. So it's a little bit pointy.
find the little a circle now. You can see that. And now I'm going to put it through. There we go. So now already, look at that. I really like that. Actually, I decided to to do it differently, so I have one going in, then two that I'm not using. I want to extend my tool and see how it goes. And so one, two that are not, two spaces, and then the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. again in half pinch it at the top twist it give it a little twist and here we go again through the front once again find a little loop pull it out just a little Slide it through and give it a nice little tug. There we go. You're looking good. Excellent. Now I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, so as you can see here, this is our first uh, layer at the bottom. And now we're going to work on the top. So my suggestion, but it's up to you where you would like it, is uh, my suggestion is to do it in the middle of these two, but higher or in the same, in the same row. It's up to you. And the skirt is almost done. It's looking great. Now I just have a few tool strips that are hot pink and I'm just going to spread them out in order to just create some nice contrast. And then we are almost done okay so we are all out of tool now we've used it all so you're more than welcome to leave it just like this if you'd like let me take it off so you're able to see what is here so this is the little skirt and as you can see I've placed these hot pink ones in different locations just to give it some contrast now, if you'd like, you can just leave it as is, or we can cut the edges, the ends, in a point. And how you would do that if you want to, is you grab your tool. So if you have a piece that is like this, you grab it, fold it in half, and you make a cut on the sides. And this is gonna give it a little pointy so it's nice and wispy if you like or you may like that sharp edge it is up to you for mine today I am going to give it a little point I almost want it fairy like and you could ask your child what uh, how they like it and uh, they may like it just like this and say oh no 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 this is perfect I like it just like this um, some children like it a little bit long some children like it a little bit short so involve them ask them what they like I just know as a child I would have really liked something felt very special and the caring of your skirt uh, please do not put this in the washing machine as it may ruin your the little tutu skirt so um, a good idea is to wash it in the sink with just a little bit of dish soap give it a nice little rinse and hang to dry and possibly in, in a, on a little hanger in your bathroom 
now your child may like this so much they may want to sleep in it they may want to go to the store in it they may want to just not take it off okay so we are done with our skirt so this is what the final product looks like i think a little child will just have uh, the best time wearing it and feeling very very cute i hope you've had a beautiful time making this i know that i have and now i have to find somebody for it anyways take care and i wish you all the very best